Tuesday, y'all. Look at that. Look at that black and pink trimming. Perfectly with the pink Majin Buu shirt. Fucking fresh as shit from Rascal. As you're gonna see in the workout vid posted tomorrow. Uh, nothing's ever on TV for Tuesdays. Just got done playing some b-ball as usual. Oh, wrong way! Every Tuesday ball. Today was just two on two, me and Eric against Mr. Surge and the mass monster, the Hawaiian mass monster that is Kiyoki. Uh, we got smoked. No, they were all good games. Hell of fucking exhausted. I have not been that exhausted uh, since like actually being involved in sports, cardiovascularly speaking. Uh, we played four games to 11. All of them were kind of close. The thing is, I can't shoot to save my life. And I get sometimes a little too cocky with my dribbling and driving and like turnaround moves that I just and I can't shoot, so I miss the ball completely. So I these commercials are fucking hilarious, and Bo Jackson's the man. Anyways, so if I want to score, I have to out hustle the shit out of people, which is easy with Kyoki because he doesn't get rebounds. Because he's lazy. He's a poker for life. Anyways, we're gonna eat some ground beef and some sausage because all I have left is a lot of fat. So I'm gonna eat some veggies, ground beef, and just put some olive oil on there. Or co we have kind of like coconut oil. Throw some of that shit on there with the beef probably when I cook it up. Uh, I don't, if I cook with oil, I don't count at all because just odds are it's not all gonna get in the food. So if I put in a tablespoon, I put like half a tablespoon. If I put in two, I put in one, so on and so forth. And if the key to drying out, which I'm gonna have some tonight, we'll see. I don't have school tomorrow, my brother does, so I just have to be there in the morning, do my homework assignment, which should be easy. Buffalo Trace, it is strong as fuck bourbon, and the buffalo on it is badass art. 45% alcohol. Strong as fuck, unlike me. Um, Vodka is the way to go though, if you're gonna get into a party mode. I'm about that gym life and keeping it fucking fresh, but you got to go and have some fun. And that, for me, is fun. I'm not talking about getting shit faced, I'm talking about having a good time with the homies. Hence, Beyond Wonderland and Hard Summer. Anyways, about to grub. And a quick thing on the macros for me uh, carb cycling still. I'm at like 200 on Monday, Tuesday, 275 for Wednesday, so it's legs, about 150 on sh uh, Thursdays, which is shoulders and arms, so it goes push, pull, legs, shoulders, arms, chest, back, chest, back is about 250, my fucking cat, I get home, let my cat inside, go to get stuff in my car, he cries to come out, and now he's already crying in the background to come in, such a fucking crybaby, anyways, but, if it fits your macros is the thing I was going to say. It's definitely true. However, I think it's massively overblown by everybody. Because half, three-fourths of the time, when they say, oh, look what fits my macros, they're just cooking food differently. They're like, oh, I made this with, like, whole wheat something and, like, fucking fat-free this and, like, substitute that. It's like, well, that's the same as clean food, but you're shitting on clean eating. It doesn't make sense to me. It's just like all this fucking hype that's false, almost. Cool, like it, when you get fucking donuts, pizza or something to fit the macros, to cheat or something, it defeats the purpose of cheating. It's like you're still in your caloric limit, but it's food you're not supposed to eat. So that, to me, the whole cheat day thing, but still in your caloric limit, that makes no sense to me either. <clears throat> so kind of like, go, just go, I, I don't know, when you fucking eat, eat the amount that you can that you know your body process and that takes a while this is like three years for me and it's still it's good I just real talk can't get strict enough to ever get to that shredded up a point naturally but anyways yeah the whole if you fit your macros fad it completely works but the thing is I was in school to be a diet tech for a bit but it was just fucking too boring and it got too hard to do all the uh specifics for 
just all these different th kinds of problems people could have and dietary restrictions and all these needs it's like i was like oh this is too much for me i did, had to fucking throw in the white flag uh because science is just the weakest part of my game academically <clears throat> but um Essentially, the whole thing with complex carbs, simple carbs, is how fast your body can process the glucose polymers, which glucose polymers are what makes carbs. So the, the more there are, the more densely packed the, the carb is. The more densely packed the carb is, that means your body has to process, it takes longer to process through that to absorb it, <clears throat> which is why you say fuller or longer, technically, with uh, more complex carbs versus like sugar and shit, because it's so simple, your body can easily absorb it. However, the thing with that is it makes it more easily distorted as fat. Unless you're vastly depleted. So post-workout sugar, eat that, soaks it up right away. No problem. <clears throat> Not him. I thought it was a cat. <laughs> he always jumps on this window. Right there. Pokes his head through. He's like, yeah, man. Let's see if he does it. I'll open it. Let's see if he comes through. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah. With the whole, like, yeah, a carb is a carb. Which one of my teachers said. At the end of the day, a carb is still a carb when it goes into your body. So they're right in that aspect. But there's different things. I mean, there's more to it. And there's also different kinds of carbs. A shit ton of different kinds of carbs. Oh, there he is. Simba. Simba. You heard him. He bailed. He's, he's whack. He's done with it. Anyways, yeah, if it's macros, have the time. Look, look what fits my macros, and it's like all this clean stuff that just looks different because you're not cooking it plain. They're just like dressing it up better. Hey, bud. This cat follows Rich Piana's advice all day. He eats all the food he wants, then he goes outside and runs around. There's cat, outdoor cat, it's Simba. <laughs> It's fucking huge now. Mm. All he does is come inside to eat. He doesn't even poop in here anymore, which is good for me. I don't have to spend money on computer litter, even though it's cheap. And then at night, he comes and sleeps in my bed. Cuddle buddy. I ain't even ashamed. So yeah, it fits your macros. It's good. It works. Just know the difference between the simple and the complex. When's the best time to eat both? And me, I have to just play basketball for like an hour and a half. I can eat simple... Simple sugars right now and it won't phase me. But if you're gonna eat it like right before bed, it's gonna give you a fat insulin spike, which will make you sleepy, so it's kinda good if you have a problem sleeping. However, if you're not completely depleted, it has a good chance of being turned into fat. However, this all, none of this matters if you're in a caloric deficit. So if you're doing that, that's that's still fine, obviously. But this is just a point to keep in mind. And just learn how to cook better and you can be a famous if it fits your macros person too, since that's all they really do. So that's about does it for the vlog. Key point also, wear pink socks and get some outdoor activity for your cardio so it's not fucking boring ass Stairmaster or inclined treadmill like I do, 25 minutes a day. It sucks ass. So yeah, peace. Forgot to mention we got some goodies. I ordered from All Star Health because my brother says it's better than Bugland.com. So we'll see. All right, so we got Yohimbi, All Max. It's pretty cool. Just. Your basic shit, three milligrams. The fuck? Sure. No zoom skill, no fucking focus ability. Anyways, I take one of these with pre before I work out because I have stubborn back fat and that helps <clears throat> get some blood there, but it's still it's not enough. Shreds matrix. If you ever do get a fat burner, which you should do for like the very end of your cut, like me, uh, this is one I highly suggest. It's just Got so much shit, no no jitters at all. It helps suppress my appetite, which is hard for me to fucking have happen. And then my brother recommended this Glycer Grow <clears throat> by Control Labs. Gives you a fucking massive pump. I've seen him have it. A lot of people says it tastes like shit. There's Glycer Grow too, so that they improved on it. 
just a cell volumizer. Really just a lot of fucking, it's just electrolytes and some other stuff. So it's cheap. 50 servings, worth a shot. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you follow me on the gram, I'll post a pic when I've taken that to show off the pump. And Simba, say goodbye to the peeps. Bathhouse.